when I get some time to myself, there's a couple of things I like to do. Some coffee. Oh, there's a bunny. Some coffee. Or the bunny. Because I've not really got an awful lot of time for anything else. Unless, of course, you're looking at this little game. Sumo Gnomes. It's by Peculiarity. Or Robbie Munn. I don't know if you remember a little while ago, we were speaking about the rather wonderfully, beautifully produced Summoner's Isle. And we really, really like this. And this is coming to Kickstarter very, very soon. And so I thought I'd have a quick little look, because all it takes is a quick little look. This is not a big, huge game to look at. However, it is a lovely little game to potentially play. So let's have a little dive in, shall we? First thing to note is this, this isn't a game that's designed to have maximum, massive numbers of setup. This is a game that's designed to be thrown on the table with reckless abandon because after all you're really only looking at a couple of key components you've got your nice little kind of tree stump ring with your main colours to say oi stick your red guy here stick your blue guy there then you've got on top of that you've got a couple of sets of dice lovely dice wooden dice but we'll talk about them later it's not going to be a game that's going to take ages and ages for you to go through. There's the rules. One page. It's E4. It even folds in half like that. And if you're lucky like me, you've got a poster with me on the front. There's my tummy. It's true. Don't make me strip off. But how do you actually play it? Well, let's show you, shall we? So you play quite simply by having these rather wonderful looking, beautiful wooden carved dice. And the first thing to mention that you're looking on this is this is either all paper or wood. There isn't any kind of plastic involved in this game so far that I can see. Um, and the idea is that you have, as you can see here, you've got two spaces for dice and you've got a reserve of your dice as well. You roll your dice that you've got, throw some on the table, but the idea is that you uh, is that you basically um, I'm taking the dice that you've rolled like so, and you're deciding which two you're actually going to play like this, and then which two you're going to keep into your reserve for maybe future. As you can see. The dice themselves, very simple instructions. This one suggests that I can move I can move my guy diagonally. This one suggests that I can move my guy through the, the normal um, normal street. Ornithogally, I can't see it. You know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about, for goodness sake. And the idea is if I play this one and I go first, I can use a move. And what that means is I can move... I can move... This dice in here, because I'm moving him along, I'm basically going to push him. I'm going to stay where I am. Now, if I can't, I've got to be able to move along one side of here. Okay? If I was on the end, though, I could effectively push him off. The other thing is, as well, is once I've used up the move, so if I decided to move diagonally and push him one way, stay where I am, and then decided to use up my other dice and move diagonally this way as well, then these dice are officially spent. They go to one side. However, these are the reserve dice. They can move in. I've got to decide with my reserve dice, and then rolling my new dice, which ones I'm going to use in my next turn. It's so on and so forth. Interestingly enough, the little big hand thing that we've got here is the grab. And like any kind of sumo match, as you're aware, one of the most important moves, well, they do from the very, very beginning, as well as slapping each other around the ring, you can actually grab on somebody. So if you grab on your guy on top, it means it opens up a more plethora of moves where now that you've grabbed your guy, you've got the potentiality to kind of move him around the ring. If you're moving him around the ring and he ends up going off, 
out of any of these arrows round the side here, then he's off. He's gone. You've won. The only way you can get out of a grab action yourself is if you manage to move away from your opponent, far enough away from your opponent, or if you actually magically play a grab yourself, as Blue's done here, and then that manages you, gets you to escape. Um, all the little turns are written on the cards. You've got the ability to switch your opponent as well, so you're basically turning yourselves round and swapping places. You've got the ability to trick, which means you can you can basically um, allows you to move your opponent one space in a direction of your choosing, and you can re you're basically repositioning your opponent with that. But you can't move your opponent out of the ring um, with a combination of the grab and the combination of the. Um, and then you've also got a slam move, which allows you to basically grab onto your opponent and follow them about the ring as well. It's not very complicated. And to be honest, that's maybe a good thing. Because um, I like small games, which are easy to get to the table, that you can spend kind of five minutes just mucking about with. And uh, Sumo Gnomes is one of these games. You know, and I'm already very, very impressed with the production values that Robbie once again is bringing to the table. I mean, we've got this. The dice themselves are a lovely kind of texture to them. And it's not, it's wooden dice, so it's unusual. I'm so used to, like, having acrylic dice and playing them. So you get the feeling that the dice themselves are quite, um, they're almost quite kind of light to roll, so you have to get used to that kind of thing. But this is going to be coming to Kickstarter quite soon. It, it's very, very easy to play. It's very, very quite easy to learn. And it's a nice little, oh, I've got two minutes kind of game. Not a, oh, I've got two minutes, but I need half an hour to kind of set it up and play. This is basically pour, pouring this out of the bag, setting up your Sumo Nooms beer mats, and getting yourself ready to play. I'm kind of excited to see what this does because Robbie has spoken about actually getting a proper kind of um, deluxe version made where you're fighting on a, on a proper kind of tree stump. We'll just have to see where it goes with that. But um, I've not got Kickstarter dates, I'm afraid, folks. We'll find that out as quickly as possible. But this is Sumo Gnomes. It's Peculiarity. It's Robbie Munn. My name's Richard. This is We Are Not Wizards. Um, like, subscribe, bell, stuff like that. But remember, stay safe. Um, roll grabs. Until the next time, goodbye.